Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, wanna cry? Protect yourself in less than five minutes. So let's get started. So what is WannaCry? It's a randomware crypto worm which targets computers running Windows operating system, encrypting data and demanding ransom payments in Bitcoin. Uh, why now? Well, WannaCry hit an exploit hole within Windows operating system, uh, which Microsoft actually patched up around March 2017. The update was actually MS17010. Uh, but this update wasn't really pushed out to everyone. Not everyone got this update. Why? Because Windows XP and Windows Server 2003 machines are not supported anymore. Microsoft kind of cut the cord on that. Now solutions. If you're already infected, I do apologize for you getting infected. Automatically disconnect your affected machine from your network. Uh, Kaprisky has a tool that you can use, which I'm gonna provide the link at the very bottom so you guys could click on it, and it will try to remove it for you, which is a good thing. Another solution is if you haven't been infected, automatically download the patch from Microsoft. If you are running Windows XP because of legacy applications that you need to run day to day for your workload, please download this patch, update your machines if you're running Server 2003 or XP. Now, patching is never enough. Now, these are a couple of things that you should be doing regardless if you patch your machine and it's healthy. Enable Windows updates. Make sure that it is set automatically. I know it's a pain in the butt, especially if you're running Windows 10. Uh, make sure that if you have it set to automatically, adjust the hours of when your Microsoft could reboot your machine to finalize the install. Back up your machine. Very, very important. That should have been my number one. Back up your machine. I did a video for you guys of how to create a system image. Follow that. Make sure you do that. Don't click on attachments within emails. If you don't 100% trust it or that individual that sent you that email with an attachment, if you wasn't expecting it, don't click on it. Don't download it. Turn on your local firewall. This is a must. I know firewalls is a pain in the butt if you're dealing with certain software or make sure you go inside there, configure it to work within your environment, but do not turn it off. This is in a corporate environment. Make sure that you block your TCP 139 and as well as 445 traffic because these two are SMB traffics, which uh, the ransomware kind of attacks. Run your antivirus and anti-malware software. Make sure it's up to date. If you have Windows 10, Windows Defenders automatically being up to date, you're good to go. But if you have other programs with Windows 7, Windows 8, make sure that your stuff is up to date. But last but not least, do not pay the ransom. Do not engage with them. Try to figure out other ways to get by it. Uh, but overall, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. If you have been caught with this whole wanna cry, leave a comment below. I want to know your experience. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.